All right, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to another uh, video here. <laughs> Man, a lot of stuff is happening with games, and right now with Grand Summoners, it's just oh my god! Like Resident Evil DLC. Uh, let me know if you guys want that uploaded. By the way, if y'all want to see me play the Resident Evil DLC and everything like that, I could do uh, a walkthrough with the third person with Ethan too. Then I can do Shadow of Rose, the whole little video and everything like that i might i it just depends on that for sure yeah but let me know if you want it in the comments down below um but we're here on grand summoners this quick review over uh the shaman king uh, equipments whenever the crossovers come out sometimes i make these videos where i go over talk about the equipment a little bit because equipment is important like we have units which units does a lot but it like when you have those equipments it can literally be game changing <laughs> For whatever you're doing when it comes to in-game content. I am telling you this right now. <laughs> it can be game changing when you have certain equipment. I'm just letting you guys know that right now. When it comes to nuking, sustain teams, when you're just trying to clear, find a boss, or whatever the case might be. A certain equipment might keep you alive that uh, a unit ability just can't keep you alive during that time. Just because in that uh, in that state of whatever match or you know mission or whatever you're in within Grand, Storm Grand Summoners, of course, excuse me, uh, you just might not be able to do that. That's when equipment comes in. Especially like when you're new to the game and everything like that, you don't really know like much about equipment. Especially when you start a new game, it's gonna be kind of overwhelming. It's pretty much how most new games are, unless they're just that easy and they cater to you know a uh, easy you know audience and everything like that which uh, right here with the equipment with grand summoners i mean we have a lot of equipment slots that you have to learn you know what these do and everything like that but you the description is there that might word it weirdly sometimes but the the words are there and you can just read it you probably don't know what like b output and stuff like that it probably is but you know like magic resistance fire resistance you know that's that's you basically know what that is from this equipment list i think i only have anna spirit beads and and yo headphones everything else i think i don't have <laughs> so the five star physical right here does 13,000 fire damage physical has a ct of 70 seconds and reduce enemies but physical resistance by 20 percent for 12 seconds if the user is a fire unit increases our gauge by 80 which is really nice and the ct on this equipment was like at a good like 50 or 60 um it would be <laughs> really 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 good that 70 is really pushing it but it does 13,000 uh percent fire damage and you get 80 art gauge if it's on a fire unit it's pretty nice equipment i haven't used anna spirit bees as much but it's 6,500 percent earth damage magic reduced enemies magic resistance and evasion rate by 30 percent for 10 seconds ct 55 seconds you want to lower magic resistance down in that invasion rate by 30 percent and you need something like that and here you go <laughs> five star defense anna's bandana reduced all allies fire damage taken by 25 percent and auto recovers all allies hp by 100 for 20 seconds so when you're going to get certain bosses with certain elements you can definitely run um this defense equipment um and you get uh some hp with this too sometimes defense equipment will give our gauge like what gills flag if that's the name of it if i'm not mistaken i have that on satama whenever i nuke with him and everything like that then we have the yo's headphones now i have this one which is actually not that bad it's a four star support auto fills targets are gauged by two and increase all stats by 20 percent for 15 seconds and a ct at 30 seconds pretty nice support equip uh something to run especially if you have you don't have anything else but yeah raising those stats by 20 percent is pretty nice and you get some r gauge to the target so the last equipment right here is house earrings it's a five star support right here auto fills all allies are gauged by two and increase god's damage by 30 percent for 20 seconds ct of 40 seconds of course you don't have any gods on your team you can still run this equipment which is be perfectly fine you're not going to get the full use out of it but of course you can still run it that two for 20 seconds is pretty nice then if you are running some type of gods um when you're running uh this equipment will be really good and helpful to damage overall this equipment is pretty decent definitely i will be going for like yo's headphones and his bandana um definitely the five star physical right here that would be my top three if i uh already didn't have some of this equipment and everything like that but new equipment is better than no equipment <laughs> remember that so yeah let me know how you feel about the equipment in the comments down below i was hoping that we got like some more but i guess we're not getting any <laughs>
Let, maybe we'll get some later. You never know uh, what we're going to get and everything like that. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how you feel about the equipment in the comments down below. This has been your boy, Sleepy Snake. Have a nice day and stay sleepy.